What is good YouTube? My name is George. I get a lot of comments on my channels from beginners looking for trick tips, skate advice, and stuff like that. In this video, I'm gonna tell you five tricks that you can work on before you actually learn how to ollie. So you can learn these tricks right now, even if you can't ollie or if you're working on your ollie. Obviously, if you already can ollie, you'll be more comfortable on the skateboard. All these tricks will be easier for you, but I know that phase where basically the only trick you can learn is the ollie and you can't really learn anything until after that can be a little boring. So hopefully these tricks can spice up your skate life. So let's do it. Also, if you want to see what all these skate stoppers are here for, you're going to want to check out John Hill's channel. We just did an epic challenge. And John's also helping me with this video. Is that? Are you helping me with this video? I'm so helping you, and I'm also posting an Instagram story of you right now as we speak it. Facts, boy. That's facts, boy. Let's get it. Facts, facts. Let's get it. Trick number one. So, John. Yeah. I actually think that you can do a board slide before you can do an ollie. Okay, I can you, see that. Yeah, you agree. It, yes. On something low enough, all you have to do is lift your tail. Exactly. Or and no, you lift your nose. We have a perfect box right here. So you could actually probably manage a board slide on this before you can ollie. Let's do it. And the test is not to pop your tail. Exactly. <laughs> that was something. There you go. No pop. Here, I'll do one as well. George, prove it, dude. Stinking prove it. I extra emphasize by setting my feet up like this. Exactly. No ollie necessary. Yeah, you basically just have to lift the tail like this enough so these wheels can get over the ledge and you can board slide. The next trick that you can do before learning to ollie is a slappy trick. Mm. No ollie required, although I find these a little tricky, but you certainly don't have to ollie, you just have to freaking jam your board into the ledge, right? Yeah, I would say so. They're a little awkward for me. They're awkward? Can you do them? I can do them, but they're awkward. It's one of those things where you just have to practice them. Yeah. And a lot of people just don't, like me. Facts. Oh, they're doable. That's true. I can do that. You got this right. <laughs> I did it. It was easy. I just didn't even like know what I was doing and it worked. John was a little stressed about this one. I don't know. <laughs> it worked out first try. First try. And it proves that you don't really know what to have to what to do is B Twas McGee Anderson Jr. It is B Twas McGee Anderson Jr. Lower curb is better, waxed up is better, or painted yellow, blue, orange, red, whatever. Red if you're in California. The way I think about this slappy is you just kind of have to lift just a tad for your nose to get on the curb and you can just kind of ride on. Try it out. This next trick that you can definitely do before you ollie, unfortunately John is unable to do it. Yeah, I just can't. It's called uh, the shove it. This trick you don't even have to pop and I actually know a lot of people who learn it before the ollie, like Nora, that's my girlfriend. Oh, nice. I think they're easier, nolly and fakey. All I the shove-its are easier. I'm I was gonna say, say that, dude. But I said it first, bro. Freak, yeah. Sub to John, bro. There you go. Thank you, bro. Yeah, okay, let's do it. All right. Nice. You liar. You said you can't do it. A lot of folks. <laughs> Good enough? John. Yeah, talk to me. Explain to the people why you think fakey or nolly is easier. So when it pivots, it wants to pivot here around. So if you're going forward, it works naturally where it pivots to the front. If you're going this way, it wants to pivot behind you so you land like this. Exactly. Does that makes sense. It's difficult, but all fakey is just like, Ugh, and you're. Ugh. <laughs> Next trick I have for you guys involves a quarter pipe and I actually know a lot of skaters who learn several tricks on quarter pipe before learning to ollie. How do you feel about quarter pipe tricks? I think sometimes people will really really seem like they're really good at skating by skating mini ramps and they can barely kick flip. As you can see kick flips are not the most consistent trick. We're gonna demonstrate the rock to fakey. This quarter pipe, oh. <laughs> This one ideally is <laughs> This quarter pipe is not a great example for beginners. It's very steep, but if you have a good one at your local, try it out. All right, cool. I want to try it too, just because. I'm scared, no, I'm scared to try it. This is literally like three times as steep as a normal one. I gotta try that.
There you go, boss. Cool. Nice job. That's four already? That's four. The next trick I actually can't do, but it is called the old school kickflip. Ooh. So you can kickflip before doing an ollie. John, how do you do this? I don't know. Okay. I think there's a few ways. The way that I do it, I literally will put my feet together and then I try to wrap this part of my foot around the bottom of the board and then I just jump. And as I jump, I just flick like that and it works out. Kickflips are easier for me, <laughs> but this one you can do without having to learn how to ollie. Can I do a better one? Yeah. Damn it. I did this on El Toro. Dude. Imagine that. Full skate at El Toro. Like this. Bruh. It doesn't have to be easy, it just has to not involve an ollie. There you go. <laughs> you were gonna be like, that trick. <laughs> That was epic. Yeah. Dude, that's gonna be an epic thumbnail because your feet just look ridiculous. <laughs> I have kind of a similar one to the old school kickflip. Technically, it doesn't require an ollie, but it does kind of involve like the motion of pressing your back foot down and lifting up your front foot. It's called the toe flip. What's that? Have you heard of it? I don't think so. I'll show you. Show your boy. Yeah, that's way easier than a kickflip, dude. You're insane. Man, this is great for beginners, dude. Maybe don't try this one, guys. <laughs> That's cool. It's an interesting one. Do that in skate and your friends will be like, Wah. Doesn't count. Okay, I think I got one too. All right. Now this one definitely doesn't require an ollie. But all you have to do is go like this, stop, grab the nose, jump. That's a really good one for this video, actually. Yeah. Hey, I think anyone can learn that one. That was not bad. And... Never mind. <laughs> Wait, I might have one, I might have oh, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually really learned this one before the ollie. Cool. Nice. Nice. I think it's nice. easier with the tight trucks. It's got it. it definitely is. I'm gonna figure it out. All right, I'm here for you. I do it the other way, that's so funny. <laughs> John, sub in. <laughs> My trucks are too loose, guys. There you go. Uh, is there any other easy ones? Um, it's pretty good. Okay. Care to join me down here, John? Of course, John? my good sir. So, those were five tricks you can actually learn before doing the ollie or while you're working on the ollie. But me and John actually realized something. This might have been a bit of a mess. Okay, we're good. Okay. Me and John actually realized something important while filming this video. You should probably just learn how to ollie. These are definitely tricks you can try for fun while you're practicing the ollie, but even having the ollie down will make these tricks easier because you'll have a better foundation in skateboarding. It really is the trick you need to unlock all the awesome tricks in skateboarding. It's true, but if there is these weird experimental tricks that you want to try like the ones we did, you can go down that lane too because nowadays, creative fun tricks, man, they're in. That's so, very true. Figure out whatever. Hey, John. Talk to me. Thanks for the help with this video. Thanks for the fist. This guy is the freaking best, dude. Thanks, man. Should we make out? We could try. You suck. good my friends yeah so uh this happened we got part of my bearing remaining in the wheel and the rest of it is here just kind of exploded while i was riding i think this still can kind of work as a wheel though I might try a couple tricks This works surprisingly well. What a great way to end this video. Uh, by finding out you don't really actually need skate wheels, you just need four bearings, pop them on your trucks. I'm like rolling with no problem. Thanks for watching guys. Holy sh
<laughs> I knew you were going to try that. <laughs>